Hello friends, welcome to another GIMP tutorial. Today we'll be learning how to use Luminosity Mask in GIMP. This tutorial might be easier for you to understand if you already know how to use Layer Mask. If you don't know how to use Layer Mask, please consider to watch our separate video on Layer Mask. First, let me explain to you what is Luminosity Mask and the purposes of using it. Luminosity Mask are basically layer masks that are created around specific tones of a picture. They are acquired from image data and work on a specific range of tonal values. The main advantage of using this type of layer mask is being able to modify different tonal ranges of an image without facing any problem with blending and hard transitions. I'm sure you will understand it better as we progress. So without further ado, let's get started. Friends, as you can see, I have already imported an image. I have chosen this image quite randomly just to show you how it works. However, it is advisable to use the right image to apply a luminosity mask in order to produce a better result. As you can see, the middle and bottom part of this image is not properly exposed. Therefore, we'll be trying to increase exposure and we'll also be enhancing the darker area to bring a better look without changing much the brighter part of this image. So first I am duplicating the layer and then we'll be desaturating it. To desaturate, go to color and then desaturate. Please make sure that luminosity is selected as mode. Now go to the channel section here. If you don't have channels active, just click on this small icon here and then go to add tab. From there, simply select the channels. Here we have all the channels. Now we create new channels from these RGB channels. To do that, drag down any of these channels to the lower window. Now we can rename this channel light and can use only the first letter L. Now we create a new dark channel. To do that, first select the entire image. And then right click on the channel dialog and choose subtract from the selection. Now we save the selection by going to select and then save to channel. We subtract two more times to create even darker channels and can name them respectively double D and triple D to indicate even darker channels. Now we'll be creating light channels. To do that, right click on the L channel and select channel to selection. Now go to dark channel and right click on the channel, select subtract from selection. Go to select menu here and then select save to channel to save the selection. We will be subtracting one more time to create an even darker channel and we will save it similarly. Please don't forget to save the channels after subtracting. Anyways, now we have three dark and three light channels. I am reordering the channels to avoid confusion. 
At this stage, we'll be creating three mid-tone channels. To do that, right click on the L channel and select channel to selection. And then go to D channel. Right click on that and select intersect with selection. Go to select menu again and select to channel to save the selection. We will be creating two more mid-tone channels by using double L, double D and triple L, triple D channels respectively. And we'll name them double M and triple M to indicate uh, mid-tones. I am reordering the midtone channels. We have got all the channels we need. We can now mask particular tonal ranges in the image, and the mask will be self feathering. So we can now separate specific tones in the image for enhancing. Now we are returning to the layers. We hide the desaturated layer and duplicate the bottom layer nine more times since we will be using nine different masks on them. Let's name the layers according to the channel names. It makes our jobs easier. Now right click on the D channel and click on add layer mask. From there select channel and then choose D channel for this layer and click on add. Go back to the layer and select the layer to edit. Here I am increasing the value of shadows. Let's add the second dark channel double D as layer mask for double D layer similarly. Now go to color menu. I am increasing the value of shadows here again. You can see the changes by activating split view option here. You can enhance as you want. You can use any color you wish for this particular tone.
I am not using any color for this image, just showing you how to do it. You can adjust color curve. This is an effective option for enhancing specific tonal values. Now we'll be adding triple D channels as layer mask for triple D layer. We increase the value of shadows. Before going to any further, I want to increase the saturation of the previous layer a bit. Now we increase the saturation of the triple D layer too. We increase the contrast of double D and triple D layers. Now let's add L channel as layer mask for the L layer. Here we slightly increase the value of few chroma. We can see the changes by previewing it. Now we add double L channel as layer mask for the double L layer. Here we also increase the value of hue chroma slightly. We add triple L channel as layer mask for the triple L layer. We increase the value of hue chroma similarly. Now we add mid tone channels for M layer. Here I'm going to adjust the color curve. Similarly, we add the double M channel for double M layer.
and adjust the color curve and color level too. Let's add some contrast too in both layers. Now we add the third mid-tone channels triple M as layer mask for triple M layer. Similarly, we adjust the color curve and add some contrast in it. We add some saturation in all the mid-tone layers. Now we merge down all the layers. So friends, now we can see the changes closely and can compare with the original image. You can enhance the image as you want. I'm just showing here how to use the luminosity mask. Friends, I hope this tutorial will help you. Please consider to subscribe, like and share to support my channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.